This morning, the fallout after the University of Florida eliminated all diversity, equity, and inclusion positions, getting rid of more than a dozen full-time jobs, including the campus's chief diversity officer, ending 15 administrative roles, and canceling all DEI-focused contracts with vendors. The university, now led by former Republican Senator Ben Sass, saying it's complying with new Florida education restrictions after the state legislature passed a law last year banning public funding of diversity, equity and inclusion, or DEI, programs. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis celebrating UF's move, posting, DEI is toxic and has no place in our public universities. Republican State Representative Bernie Jacques co-sponsored the legislation. To make sure that we have education in our higher education system here in the state of Florida instead of indoctrination. Critics, however, warning that eliminating all DEI policies and staff roles at a leading public university will have ripple effects nationwide. Our young people, our students, our educational institutions are the ones who become the collateral damage of everything that we're seeing right now. This is so far more than just politics. This is what's going to start happening all across this country. How can you be certain that this doesn't inspire fear in academics and, and, and in a way make them fearful of teaching any kind of diversity? Well, it, it doesn't do that, right? If there's a student-led group that wants to engage in, in diversity discussions or um, you know, gender or what have you. If it's student-led, they can do that. What we don't want it to happen is we don't want it to be institutionally led and, and, and taxpayer funded. In addition to Florida, eight other states have passed legislation aimed at dismantling DEI on college campuses, and at least a dozen states have proposed similar bills. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.